Now, the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Congressman Mike Turner of Ohio. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. You just heard what The Washington Post is reporting about the alleged leaker. Uh, your reaction, first of all, to the president saying that they are getting close, but that there was nothing contemporaneous, and then he said, of consequence. That was not quite audible, but we've checked the tape. So the president saying there was nothing contemporaneous of consequence. There were documents here that they are not questioning the authenticity of that were marked, dated in March, about Ukraine, about Russia. Can you respond to the president's characterization? Sure. Sure, Andrew. So for, thank you for having me. Um, and to give some context to this, so the documents so far that, that we've been able to see publicly uh, are static, meaning they're pictures uh, at a specific point in time. And that means that that we have the ability to change those circumstances. They mean they don't necessarily reflect ongoing operations, and they don't reflect a compromise of ongoing operations. They certainly give, as the Department of Defense has said yesterday in its briefing, an opportunity to mitigate any damage that has occurred as a result of these. But as, as you just reported from the Washington Post story and from the audio of the interview that, that you played, you know, this is certainly chilling, because we're going to get this individual. Uh, this is a crime. This is espionage. Um, and, and this involves real people. I mean, this could hurt real people, and, and real people uh, could, could be killed and, and lose their lives over leaks of classified information. To make this all the way down to where it seems almost like a game to these individuals is certainly very chilling. Now, apparently, there were many people in this chat room, including foreign people who might have been exploiting it for purposes, even before it was made public, where we could mitigate. So there were foreign actors who could very well have been involved in this, including from Russia. Right, absolutely. This is this is very dangerous. And you know, I can tell you around the world every day, there are people who, at great sacrifice, go to work and handle classified documents and information that keep our country and our allies safe. When you hear stories like this of of someone who's doing this for aggrandizement for the purposes of promoting themselves, especially with just um, you know kids and un, un, and are looking this almost as a game itself, it, it certainly raises the the specter of the question of you know. What do we need to do to make certain that our classified information is held more closely? How do we find these people um, before they, they do this, before classified documents are compromised? And then, of course, um, you know, the hunt as we are now on and finding this individual, bringing them to justice for the crimes they've committed. In many of these photos in the past, we know that there have been invisible markings and tracing markings. Do we know if we have that in this case and that we can track this down and, and close in on which military base, which person? Well, I mean, you know, obviously there, there are signatures to all these things, and, you know, I can't disclose any of the, the techniques in which people are using, but, but clearly someone who is at this level, who's just showing off basically to their, their friends and young kids, um, are, are, are not going to be doing so with the level of skill where they're going to be able to cover themselves up. They will be found. They will be brought to justice. And this is a, a terrible tragedy for a country. And, Mr. Chairman, the, with the president saying that he didn't think there was anything contemporaneous of consequence, how do you define of consequence? Do you agree with that characterization? Sure. Well, it's not that it's not of consequence. I think what he's trying to relate is, you know, there are different types of leaks. There's ones where, you know, a, a foreign national or a, a even an American has continued access um, that that can result in continuing leaks. That compromises, you know, present day uh, communications. Then there's the leaks of documents like this, which are static, that are from a specific period of time. Uh, and they certainly give us the opportunity to mitigate those damages and become aware that those documents are out. But more than anything, uh, this is, you know, these individuals need to be brought to justice, and this leak needs to be stopped so we can continue to protect Americans and protect our allies. And going forward, should there be a smaller number of people who, are, who have access to this kind of top top secret documents that some of them was no foreign news. Right. Well, certainly there should be a higher level of scrutiny, I think, of those individuals who do. I mean, someone like this who has a pattern of life where, according to the reports, if they true, if they tend to be true, uh, that this person had, you know, a practice of doing this that could have easily been discoverable over a period of time. You know, clearly we have to do a better job of making certain that people like this are discovered um, and, and make certain that, uh, that they don't have the access and they're brought to justice. And what about doing a better job of going through social media, uh, these online chat rooms, uh, of seeing it in Discord, calling it to people's right. attention? Some of it was in right. public. 
Right. Clearly, the administration was slow on the uptake in this. And that's something that, that we're going to be having hearings on. You know, my committee, who has responsibility for oversight, we're going to be doing triage as to how did this happen? How did it not be? How was it not discovered? And, and how is it that an individual like this could have the access that they did? Uh, this is something that obviously, you know, we need to, you know, look to to see that we can stop in the future. The damage that might still be going on with our allies, though, how do you mitigate that? Well, allies, you know, certainly do understand that even for themselves, they have sometimes compromises of classified information. But it, it is a diplomatic issue to continue to work with them on the exposure that's there and how we're going to, to stop it and mitigate it. And then also to make sure that we're disclosing to them uh, areas in which there have been damage so that they themselves can take actions uh, to protect their interests also. And the fact that this was online for so long, the Secretary of it's Defense shocking. told me the other day shocking. he didn't yeah. know about it until April 6th. Right. And that's certainly something that we're going to be looking at as a committee. How is it that our entire intelligence community, who were, I mean, the, the Ukraine operation is the most sensitive operation that is currently ongoing around the world. How that, that this type of information could be out and not be found is inexcusable. And certainly our committee will be following up with, you know, what, what, was, what went wrong here and how do we prevent it in the future? Now, some of the information is the kind of thing that we would be saying on our program that experts are saying that a, a war of attrition, a stalemated war, is does favor Russia because of, they have more resources than Ukraine does, just because of scale. Um, do you have the same concerns about the spring offensive not being as effective as it might be, as they had hoped it might be, and that this does not work in, in Ukraine's favor and that there won't be negotiations, for at least the foreseeable future this year at least. Well, I was just in Kyiv last week, and, and right. I would tell you that, that the assessment of our officials that are there uh, and, and my assessment is com completely opposite. Remember, I, when these documents are static from a specific period of time, you know, sometimes you have to pr produce a document that shows what the risks are and that project, you know, a negative outcomes so that you can change that outcome. Uh, and we're certainly working diligently to do that, as are the Ukrainians. Any weaknesses that are shown, we try to bolster those up, as will the Ukrainians. So a lot of these documents that, that project or, or detail areas of weakness are also management documents so that those weaknesses can be addressed. We really appreciate your coming on and, and uh, Thank you. giving it, your perceptions on this. I know you've been briefed, and it's very, very helpful, Congressman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.